Um, but seriously, I have been working on this map while not streaming. Uh, the world's burning around us. It seems that way sometimes. So, uh, my energy levels have been subdued. So, and I'm honestly thinking about um, streaming like on a slightly different routine, like Monday, Wednesday, Fridays. Tuesday, Thursday, still mapping, but not streaming, if that makes sense. That way I can actually get some admin stuff done in the channel, things like that. But anyway, that by the way, it is Wednesday, so it is streaming day, so I am here. So, with that said, what have we been up to? Well, I've done a lot of ink work. Um, you can see that... I mean, you, you may not have been in the last channel, but I've got a lot of walls done up there. I've got a lot of flagstones up there done. We do have to get our entire top third half done. Not tonight, though. Not tonight. I've been drawing flagstones and wall stones for days. I do think we'll start the stream by erasing the guidelines that are sitting underneath those, so that will be good. I always like erasing guidelines. And then, hello, we have to draw. You can probably see it above me. See this uh, room A right there on, on the sky cam, the Phaeton sky cam. This little squiggly line. I think, I think we might draw that. We might draw that tonight, I think, because we kind of look, we've got look, we've got all of these other walls done, and not that bit. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do the squiggly line off, and I kind of got all of the flagstones in this room done, but this one actually has I think eight. Well, we could actually see it here, yeah, eight, eight. Um, like look up there, folks, look up there. There's eight pillars in here. Plus some kind of stairs, like there's some stairs and secret doors, all sorts of shit, isn't it? If we could draw those pillars and everything tonight, that would be a winner, winner, lobster dinner. But I actually kind of also want to start doing some of the colouring here on these walls. Because I was like, I'm tearing so far north, I've kind of left these behind. So I think I might finish these just to start the stream. Guides, wallstone colour. And that would be a good, and then I think we're going to move all the way up here. Oh, you'll notice, by the way, we did the stairs. I think they're looking, did them last night. And then I think we're going to come up here and we're going to finish the ink room in this work, uh, in this work, in this room. And that's going to mean getting all of those pillars and shiznit like that done. I also have been experimenting, oh God, I've been so busy. With background, like what is the background paper going to be? And it's basically, where's my mouse? Where's my mouse? Where is my mouse? There's my mouse. Oh, mouse behaving in a funny ass way. a lot nowadays with my photoshop so spur yeah 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 okay let's change my brush to something like that cool well there's my mouse so why couldn't I see it before I say now. Anyway, so what was I saying? I don't know. We did the stairs, gonna colour the walls, gonna get rid of the guides. I think we should just start there. I think we should just start there. It might have been the brush I had selected. The brush I had selected was really kind of like not this. Um oh, I've been experimenting with some background colour. The background is gonna fill all of these areas. You see all of this, all of this dead space. And all here, right? I don't want it to be black, and I don't want it to be grey. 
So I'm thinking, but it's got a contrast with a wall. So I'm actually thinking about this, more of a red sandstone, like this. So our walls are more brownish. And then we've got this as a fill, and with, like, with this little sort of hand-drawn texture in here. That's what I'm thinking about. And I'll probably do like this big section and then start putting that in position. Now, the thing is though, I then will have to come underneath here. This actually white's behind here because reasons. I'm actually gonna color like some of these with a little hue of green, a little hue of blue. Um, you can see that actually, um, well, actually up here. So this white, so what I'll have to actually do is delete some of these white bits that are then let the background bleed through. It's gonna be a bit of a pain in the ass. I may just come back through and just do little dots of like color that in by hand. Not gonna be doing that tonight. We'll come back to that. Hey, Night Heaven! Yeah, yeah, well that Photoshop book might have been me too. I've got this weird brush that's like almost a, uh, because I was doing this earlier on, it's like a spray. So the actual brush shape as I bring it onto the uh, map is like just little dots. And I might have just been missing it. Never used Pro... No, I have used Procreate once, and Procreate's pretty good. Procreate's pretty good. I probably actually would have ended up with Procreate if I could have got some sales assistance to help me. Um, but yeah, that's a story for another time, I think. Okay, so let, let's actually, let's start with the fun stuff. I did all of these walls last night, and now I want to actually get rid of the guides. You can see these strong lines if I turn this up like on and off. You see that? I don't have to get rid of them, but I like getting rid of them as we go. So let's just... I can do all of this. There we go. It just feels like we're cleaning up a little bit as we go. Uh, and I did this at Tyburn. I got busy last night. That was a busy little bee. Let's get rid of it there. Oh, that was actually too much. A little bit overzealous on that one. We haven't actually finished drawing up there, so I'm just going to leave that alone. Cool. I did all of this while listening to an audiobook by Simon Scarrow. Cool. Okay, excellent. Now let's do a little bit of um, colouring of the walls. Alright, so colouring the walls... We are going to be on what layer? What layer are we on? Wall colouring. I've got this as four layers right now. Ultimately, it'll end up being one, but it's just the way I colour. Oh, oh, no, up here. We want this brush. We're going to do brush, brush. And we're going to do our little happy HB. We're going to really blow that up in size. Let's give ourselves a little bit of a base color. That works. On the right layer. Yes, I'm on the right layer. To this corner. Yeah, let's not get too carried away. And then I think what I'm going to do is we're going to hit up that south corridor. It's literally right above my head, number one and number two in the sky cam. I'm doing this only because I did the shadows for the wall before I actually did the coloring of the wall. You can see that. 
and so the shadow is bleeding into the wall and this will just clean things up a little bit I'm actually going to come onto the top of this a little bit with just a little, little bit of a lighter colour Now we're going to come back through towards the end of this dungeon and we're going to add some personalization to these stones. But this is just, to, you know, so I can take screenshots and shit like that. I get it close enough. I'm coming down a layer and I'm actually coming in, I think, I want to I wanna keep this fairly light. So I'm going to, I'm going to err towards the orange, but fairly light orange. And then because I've come down a layer, this will be underneath what we've just done. You can see it just bled through on the right side there. And then the last bit is we're going to come in with a darker colour as the background to all of this. I could do all of this on one layer. I could do this on one layer. I could blend and all of that shit. But because I'm moving quick, I don't want, I don't want to get into that. this a bit of clean up there looking good mr. Kuso. okay dark mud bush boo thank you for the follow and what an awesome name you have I'm gonna zoom out so you can see what this channel is about right after I've stopped coloring little sandstone blocks you see how I've come down one layer and because I'm colouring underneath what is effectively a little bit of a, like a tight airbrush, it bleeds through. But everything I just coloured on the top stays there. And it doesn't matter if we bleed out a little bit because we will have colour on the outside of that. But I'm going to try and clean up as I go. A little bit like when you're cooking in the kitchen, you know. Clean those pots as you go. Might as well do these while we're here. There we go. There we go. Nice. And I think, just as a last touch, I'm going to come back up. I'm going to really hit a highlight colour here. Something like this. Pretty light. Reduce the brush size just a tad. And just get a little bit of detail in here. Now I could flatten all of this up, but in fact you don't even need to flatten it, do you? I could select all of these layers and copy paste and copy paste and make for a much quicker dungeon, but this is this not kind of how I do things. I, I just I do slow, I do methodical, I do maps that make people go, what the actual did she do with this? Did she really hand draw all of those blocks? Yes. Yes, we did. That's what we do. Right, you can see that we did some of the extra detailing down here, but I think we'll leave those blocks as is. That's looking pretty good. All right, so yeah, if you're new to the channel, if you've not been watching this, this is a massive 50, 60 inch by 70 inch map for Necropolis. Um, it's for Frog God Games, and it's going to be 5E. That It did come out with Necromancer Games Pathfinder? Three point five. I don't know. It was an earlier version. So this is a reimagining. They're getting me to do the final dungeon, the big dungeon. It's going to be three maps in all. This is the largest one. There's a side view and then there's actually a smaller segment. And we're doing battle map detail. Just like we did with Teagle. So we'll be, we're will be we going to do all of the furniture in these rooms and everything. We'll read the descriptions out of the book. We'll make sure everything matches. It's like these columns look like they've got that they're on top of dead people or squished people so we drew squished people so that we're going to do that all over and uh, that, that, that we're going to put some sarcophagi in here yada 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 um i'm gonna uh, so this is what we're doing i'm kind of doing it as a quilt right now a little bit of drawing a little bit of coloring as we go i'm going to do the whole lot like this 
Then we're going to do the furniture and stuff. This will this will look good even without the furniture. I'm pretty darn sure. Um, I've got my textures down for this floor here, but we're going to come in underneath and bleeding a little bit of colour on some of those. Not as heavy as those two rooms. It'll be a little bit more washed out, a little bit of opacity on there. But it'll give some of these stones that look similar in hue, a little bit of blue, a little bit of green, a little bit of yellow, that type of thing. But this is not looking too shabby. And then, we're going to do this south wall here. We're going to stick, because you can see right there, I've been plowing north, which is leaving this wall behind. So I think, I think we're going to do this. Me a second. select by the way on the blocks in a different part of the dungeon I just did a fill and then I came in over the top and kind of colored in details and it went okay it went okay but I wasn't really happy you'll see by the way I am leaving gaps purposely because remember we're going to color the layers underneath I'm not going to go too far north. I just want to get our entire southern dungeon. That area around... Is it two and three? One and two. I want to get the one and two done. That entire corridor then of A, B, E up above my head will be complete. Then that way, we can actually come back down here. There are, there are a couple of uh, big stone slabs that have different colours. Like there's a green one, there's a red one. And we can actually draw and colour those stone slabs and really kind of get this southern area done. Also, I don't know if there's a future room that needs this, but I want to do some stone slabs, flagstones, that um, have hieroglyphics, hieroglyphics on the outside edge like super detailed i don't think this this south uh, corridor is gonna be it but maybe here right maybe here maybe right in front of this there's gonna be a door here maybe right in front of this ominous door or these alcoves something like that could be kind of cool also we're gonna come back through when we've actually got all of our floors and everything done and we're gonna start adding sand and stuff like sand drifts and there'll be cobwebs. We're, we're gonna have so much fun. We're gonna be adding so much detail to this. We'll just be cuddling up with it and just mm, teasing the crap out of it. Probably 150 hour map, this one. That's what I'm thinking. But I, w I want people that play on this map to like look at it and smile inside, you know? That is a little bit more than your usual computer-generated cookie-cutter, copy-paste, copy-paste. I want people to look at this and in their soul, they're, they're seeing something different. They're seeing something special. This is why I don't get asked to do, like, Rapam Athok. Because there's something like, what, a million maps in that? And I would never, ever, ever be able to do that. I leave that to my trusty Robert Altbauer, who can do ex excellent maps very, very quickly.
And I'm just I'm just gonna come straight up the top there and finish these what like dozen blocks or so. So I kinda wanna just get this southern corridor just embraced in all of its stony goodness. one block into the corridor here. I've left this corridor by the way because I read the description in the book and I looked at the map and I kind of went, huh? The map just didn't seem to match the description very well. So I actually just need to ask the frogs about it, get some clarity for what I should be drawing. It seems like if you can see in the sky come above my head, there's almost like, um, you can see, in fact, let me zoom in real quick. Like, right, right here, you see between F and X, it almost looks like there's one corridor with a little U-shape, right? And you see that little grey box? I think that's a trap. And I think what happens is that grey, or that dark black block, when you hit X... A little bit of a spoiler here. Comes down and is meant to block the party in. Alright, I stopped reading here. Kind of, sort of. Because if the grey block, like, falls down or whatever and blocks that section of the corridor, you could just walk out and do the little U-shape and come back down and walk back towards F and you go, okay, that's a pretty shitty trap design, mister. That's a lot of effort for not trapping me in. <coughs> it's like, hello, I'll just walk out. So, and that this, the description is pretty, pretty adamant about what a nefarious bloody trap this thing is. And I'm like, I'm not really seeing it. I'm not seeing this trap. So I really want to get clarity on the shape of that corridor, if there really should be like this U-shape in there or not. But meanwhile, there's so much other goodness to be actually drawn in this dungeon that I do know about, that I'm just going to move on. Still, I'm missing gaps on purpose. I'm going to come in with a pretty dark brown underneath all of these. That's what's going to bleed through for the final bit. And then I'm going to come back over on the top, and we're going to we're going to add some pretty light highlights.
to see you, my friend. Feels like it's been a while. I know I've been offline for a short while. How have you been, Edge? In fact, all of you just lurking there in the background. How have you all been? Without using the words, the world is burning down around me, how is everyone doing? Once we get this wall done, I promise you, we'll zoom to the north and we'll start drawing something in room. What room are we drawing in? Oops, I'm drawing on the wrong map. Uh, we're going to be working on room 17. That's going to be our main focus for tonight. And I think, I think that's how these streams are going to go. We're going to colour a little bit. We're going to ink a little bit. And maybe off camera, I do a lot of the wall flagstone work. Because you saw how I started that. You won't get the idea what I'm doing. It's just repetition then at this point. And you, you don't need to see me for... I think last night I literally did four hours of just drawing flagstones and walls. So I'll try to keep the streams to the fun, interesting stuff. She says, colouring in brown blocks for the millionth time. But the spirit is there. The spirit is there. Good, good, not far off, not far off. I hear you, Edge. I hear you. I know yesterday got me like that too. It's like, I didn't have the energy. Like I mapped, I mapped for a while last night, but I didn't have the energy to do it in front of camera, you know? So I want to actually now come back up the top. We're going to... No, no, I'm going to come down to the third layer. And we're going to come in pretty dark. Let's do this first. There we go. Just get those little, little bits and those edges. And then we're going to come in with the lighter colour. Fantastic. of technical manuals yeah that, that I think would drain you in the best of times I think what have I got going on there I, I, I don't want to get distracted but why is that bit not coming in ah uh, there it is because apparently I wasn't doing it very well
my darling. I hate you. It is going well. I'll zoom in on this in a moment, or zoom out on this in a moment. It is not done. You are correct. I have been tardy, sir. I have been dragging my feet. No, but actually, I've, I've made some pretty good progress. I've just, um, I, I left this southern part behind near one and two. And so I kind of just want to at least get this wall colored in because otherwise it just looks unfinished, which of course it is, but I can't take screenshots and zoom in on areas if I haven't actually completed any areas. Or at least, you know, semi-complete. Sands, furniture, cobwebs, sand piles, etc, etc. But I did a lot of uh, inking last night. I got a lot of inking now. Like, super excited amount of inking. So I'm going to zoom out. I'm going to show you. I'm going to do it right now before we skip to the other side. So yeah, I actually... Um, I, I want to say I got up to the halfway mark on inking last night. Got a lot of flagstones drawn. Got a lot of walls in. It was really good. I think I'm going to do that little... Um, corridor leading off that crack in the wall or whatever it is so, and so she's definitely taking shape oh and i redid the stairs i redid the stairs and i am much 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 happier with them i was actually having like i don't know if you guys remember i was having some photoshop issues like last thursday something like that and um like I would select one area and a different area would actually select. It was so weird. And that was not the first time it was doing it. So I actually ended up over the weekend just uninstalling everything and reinstalling. And thus far, it's been behaving much, much, much better. I don't know if you guys know this. Um, this is not the bit that I would not expect you to know. Uh, I'm subscribed to Adobe's uh, Creative whatever. And specifically Photoshop. So I pay a monthly fee for that. It's not a small fee. And in exchange, I always have the latest and greatest Photoshop. Okay, I use Photoshop almost daily. I can dig it. But when it updates, it leaves the old one on the computer as well. It doesn't actually replace it. And you can actually get into the old one and everything. just leaves it there. But some of the files, I think, are actually shared. And if you uninstall one of the old ones, it actually breaks your current one. So there's a shared component between them. It's like the executables are different, but like preferences and everything are shared. It's quite odd. Maybe brushes and everything are shared. Um, but I don't like it, and I had versions 2018, 2019, and 2020 on my computer, and Photoshop last week did an update, and I'm wondering if having three versions of Photoshop and then getting this update thrown in on at the top, it just, like, it just was screwing with everything, you know? So it's like, all right, it, it's time. It's time to just clean shop and just put 2020 on it. And maybe what I've got to do each time that Photoshop updates is m like manually uninstall and then reinstall. It's, it, I, I just wish that there was an option when I did an update to delete the previous version. That's what I wish Photoshop had. Hey, no more drop is in the house. Big hooks. I did not know, Noble, that you were planning on selling that map ahead of the Kickstarter. That is outstanding. That is big, big news. I love it. Let 
me just check something there, guys. Hold on a sec. highlight areas let's do let's do pretty light and a much well a, a little bit of a small brush something like that oh i'm on long uh, on the wrong layer back up the top back up the top there we go there we go over obviously we're going to be doing additional texturing and things on these stones but this this is going to be close enough for us to go yep yeah, that doesn't look too shabby cracks and stuff and imperfections on these stones too but I, I I'm dreaming big we'll, we'll see I mean the detail that I put in on the stones is like the last thing that people are gonna give a shit about you know floor tile which corner floor tile any of the corner floor tiles this one there's actually a few on here that i really really like there's a few where i go eh but you know i think that's that's the case when you know you, you your hand doing everything sometimes they just get screwed up right i'm actually just gonna quickly uh you know i'm just gonna put another little color on the top of what i just did there no, no, I'm actually going to come in a bit darker. Hold on. Yeah, there's a little bit of detail for you. Nice. To stop every single one being so predictable. I love the goldish ones. It's like I actually want an opportunity to do a lot of uh, like gold marble type of deal. And... Unless a room says it otherwise, I don't see a reason why we can't do that, you know? Maybe in some of the special rooms. now we're close I 
I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get this light one done because we're so close to this. And then come back through with the darker colour over the top. Dark, and then this this will be the end of just colouring these here. Zoom in a little bit. And then, actually maybe now I should be hitting save. Come on. Come on, there we go. That might be a little heavy on the dark, but I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it. Some variation in the stones, there's nothing wrong with that. I am, after all, really just creating a little bit of texturing. That's close enough. That's close enough. Okay. I am now... What was I going to do next? Oh, we are going to do this bad boy. Hello. So, let's... Let's just close that down. We want wall ink. <coughs> and let's zoom in. So, this is section 11 ABC. Oops. Right here. That's what we're going to draw. And. Eleven. I'm not going to draw eleven. Uh, well, actually, so eleven is actually the bit outside. Eleven is kind of this bit here, right? And then we've got A. B, C. So I'm not going to get sort of too deep in the details of this, but I want to know what 11A says about that corridor going off. That's 10. Okay. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, okay. You'll notice actually on this map where the secret doors have actually drawn a wall. So if, if this is put down on the table, players will just assume it's a wall. The GM guide will have a symbol on there that says it's a secret door. Okay, so 11. Crawl space tunnel. I suppose it is tiny, yeah. There appears to be a low tunnel here, hidden behind partially fallen plaster. Ooh, we're going to do plaster on the floor. Ah, bah, 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 bah. <coughs> right, 11A. No spoilers, there's something here, so I'm not going to read that out. But what about, what about that area running off? There's no description for it. There's no description for that. Alright, then we're going to draw them. And the, I don't think we need to match 
what the original was. We'll just do the spirit of it, right? So let's get rid of this. And I'm going to use our trusty guide layer first. And I think we're going to make this, like, rough hewn. Like, I don't know. It's a crack from, like, an earthquake or something. And it is broken down a section of the wall. Because I'm betting it's something like that. So let's go to our guide layer. And guides. I think we're drawing about 30 pixels in size. We want to be drawn in black. Okay, so... This kind of does this. Right? Type of deal. Actually should have done that with a little bit of opacity or something because I want to draw over that. So I might get rid of those in a moment. Just wondering if there's a section that talks about how to get in. Ah, I, I had a feeling. Okay, so it is a fissure that comes in from the outside. And they are worth. So we've pretty much got a clean uh, clear slate on what we want to do on this. What I do want to do is we're going to get rid of that. And we're going to redraw. So let's make our brush have a little bit of opacity here. And I don't need to get sort of too hung up on this, but let's, let's try and follow previous one, but also roughly try to follow the grid a little bit. Right, and I am going to draw it to the edge too, because even though the um, map won't print to the edge, it's like if this here gets cut off, well no big deal, right? So do... Ink, ink walls, ink walls, black, 30 pixels. All right, it's a fissure, it's rough. Okay, different type of stone. Oh, I've still got my bloody opacity on, hold on. Let's get rid of that.
guides. Let's see what they're doing with there. I think that will do for a start of a 10. I think that'll do. Is, does anyone know where I got that saying from? Start of the 10. <coughs> Your question for start of the 10. Actually, I'm not quite sure myself now. That's not too shabby. That's not too shabby. stone floor it won't be flagstoned and we'll definitely do a pile of rubble in here you know like sections of the wall have just come down talking about hitting up this little puppy of a room all right 17 17 and you know what i haven't actually colored 17 yet so maybe we do a lot of gold in this one that'd be kind of cool pick up on some of these gold things here but we're gonna actually read room 17 first And I don't know if you can see it, but I want I want that to be on a floor and not a wall. If that's on a wall, we don't get to draw. If that's on a floor, we get to draw that. That'd be fun. Okay. It is on the floor. Ooh, what room is that on? Thirteen. Ooh, we can see that in the screenshot or oh, in the sky cam. So down here, ooh, that's gonna be fun. 
was a circle of bronze 10 feet in diameter, bronze strips dividing into 12 wedges. We are going to get to draw that. That's going to be so much fun. Should I start to paint the beholder of my sarcophagus or mummies? Oh, paint the beholder of my sarcophagus and mummies? Or, or, or. Do the beholder, because I'm gonna do uh, an orpheric here shortly, and they look very similar, and I think it'll be kinda cool. Beholder. All right, seven, seven. I am going to be painting a noble dwarf or ferric. Complete with bowler hat, dinky bow, and monocle. All right, 17. You've discovered a great chamber with a peat ceiling, 70 feet across and 40 feet wide. The ceiling reaches up 70 feet across, really? I'll trust it. Um, the ceiling reaches up 40 feet, blah, 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 blah. The usual hieroglyphics cover the lower walls. We won't get to draw those, but maybe we'll do some details on the floor. And many stone statues of strange deities line the walls. They're not on the sky cam above us, so we are going to draw some statues and add them to this uh, room uh, uh, when we get to the furniture stage. Hey, Dungeon 2. Good to see you, my friend. All right. The floor, ah, shit. The floor is black onyx. We were gonna do gold. Polished, smooth. See, the problem with the black onyx, I need I need a better solution for black onyx. We did this black, uh, that's us, we did this. And um, it's nice. It's a lovely, lovely texture. And it looks like black, but you know what I'm saying? It's like, we lose, we lose so much with that. So, doing a whole room in black onyx. We'll come back to that. The floors are nine columns. I see eight, but maybe the center. Uh, it's the center one. The players think it's a column. Each of the outer four is four feet in diameter and almost 20 feet tall and made of dark green stone. Okay, that's good to know. Each of the inner four is six feet across and almost 30 feet tall and made of black grey granite. Okay, and in the centre is a massive column, 10 feet in diameter and 40 feet tall made of deep red sandstone. And it's obviously inside that we've got some kind of secret um, staircase. All right, so ah, so there, there's the, the there's a bit to the north of that. Um, center column behind and adjacent to the large pillar mostly obscured from the door but quickly noticed after entry stands a stone crypt okay it says the crypt is 12 feet wide that's not 12 feet wide Oh, the chamber that I think the crypt is in. Okay, whatever. And the crypt is also black granite. We gotta, we're gonna have to come up with something for black granite. Because I want shadows and stuff to show up. I'm gonna have to come up with a black that isn't black. Like a dark grey or something. Oh, yeah, we'll, we'll have to come up with something. Or maybe black and blue. Right, just skip it all of the bits. Okay, okay, so I'm reading about the center column now.
Alright, so my understanding of, my understanding of, oops, zooming in on the wrong map, um, this secret door here leads into the uh, hollow pillar with stairs that go up. This is leading kind of into the pillar, but actually is revealing, uh, it's like meant to be an alcove or something, and there are things in the alcove. So I'm thinking about drawing these stairs a little bit differently so they kind of line up with this and then come around and kind of stop here. And then maybe actually then this quarter here can be just this nice isolated little bit. I think we're going to attempt to draw all of this now. And I think they said it was... I should why why did I close my book? Why did I close the book? Alright, so the columns. The outside ones four feet in diameter. Okay, a little less than a square and green. Let's start there. And um, the way that we're doing these is a bit like these. The actual column itself is going to be a circle of black, but then the colour of the column is actually going to be on the interior of it. These actually have a face of white. Um, and then, like, this would be the core of the column here. So, I'm, basically, like, these. Alright, so, up here. Oh, we can do one and duplicate it. They're going to make really a little bit less. This is five feet across here. So I do want to make sure that they are clearly... Right. There we go. Oh, go away. Something like that. Alright, so... Where are we, where are we drawing? Where are we drawing our columns? Are they on our wall layer? No. Floor layer? No. Pillar. Alright, so... Edit stroke 30 on the inside. Too thick. And it's stroke 20 on the inside. I think I'll probably do it. Might be a bit thick. Yeah, I'm feeling that's a bit thick. And it's stroke. Um, well, let's do 15 then. Okay. Half of the 30. I think that's what I did last time. actually deselect this select the inside we'll do an edit stroke now in green let's do a nice let's do a nice green Nice strong colour, you know. And I'm actually going to make this 20 on the inside. I do want this to be a bit thicker. And then we're going to select that again. 
And we're going to now colour that the same as our walls. And we'll use our little happy HP right here. A lot of our background is going to be done in the same sort of way as this. Now let's actually hit it with a little bit of a real light colour. There we go, that's not too shabby. I'm okay with that. Okay, so there's our pillar and we need four of these. Oops, let's just deselect, we grab this and then we can move this little puppy around. And we need one here. I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna come in underneath this right now. You can see how that line's bleeding through. That means we don't have solid color there. I need to fix that. Let's do that right now, but that is the right position. So let's come in. And then I think I'll do a temporary layer and we're gonna grab I think a solid color brush let's just grab you nice dark brown let's come in underneath there we go that that's the stuff that was bleeding through right there but yeah it actually looks pretty good Let's merge that with our pillar right there. And then let's grab him. And we've got to duplicate him. And move him here. Is that right? Yeah, I think that's right. Eyeball the alignment is fine. Both of those, let's grab them both. And this is a control click, by the way, not a control click. Do that. Go to shift to the pointer, and then we could do a alt click with the mouse, and that duplicates it automatically. And I feel here, this one. Back to the pointer, so then we're basically just moving the selection. That looks pretty good. Cool. All right, next ones. Six feet across, so a little bit more than a square. And black grey. Okay, so black grey is no problem. Um I think I think with the black grey. I'm actually I, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a similar sort of thing as this, but we're gonna actually have this black line on the outside, a grey line on the inside, and then we're gonna colour it black grey. All right, so same layer, pillar. We want it a little bit larger than a regular square. All 
Yeah, that's about six. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. I mean, it's, it's kind of just loosely eyeballing it, but I'm okay with that. Let's put it here. And now we're going to stroke that with black. Um, 15, we said. 15 on the inside. Kapow. Then we're going to actually... The reason why, by the way, I'm not doing a select, contract, or make smaller, um, and then actually just alter that by 15 pixels, is Photoshop, when it makes um, selections, circular selections larger or smaller, actually starts to flatten out some of the curvature. And so if you do it enough, you actually end up with very angular shapes. So I'm actually just going to deselect and reselect the inside of the circle. That way I know it is circular. And we're going to now edit stroke this with a 20 pixel gray. Something like that. And then we'll deselect and select again, just so I can color this without go uh, bleeding on the outside. And we want black gray. So I'm going to fill this puppy with black first. Let's just do it. All right, now we're going to paint some gray over the top. And I think we'll do kind of a marble pattern, you know? Let, let's, let's do that. So we want to go back to our brush. I'm actually going to use the hard round pen pressure size. And I'm going to, I'm going to be pretty, uh, maybe I do, no, I'm not, I don't need to do the, with the blurred edges. I'm going to do this one. And the reason for that is we're going to come in with a blur tool and we're going to soften up some pretty harsh edges. Let's drop this to about 60 pixels or so, thereabouts. So what I'm going to do is something like this. And actually, a little bit of white in here wouldn't hurt. Now you may be looking at this going, well that looks like shit girly, and you would be correct. Alright, now let's hit our smudge. Um, oh, I've got a special smudge going on here. I don't want this smudge. No, I don't like that smudge. That was a smudge I was using earlier on. I don't like that smudge. I actually want to get... Um, there was a, a... Actually, a brush I was very curious about. Kyle's... I love Kyle, by the way. Kyle's brushes are kick-ass. I've never used the all-purpose blend... I'm actually going to use it for the first time right now because I'm kind of curious about it. I'm not really digging this. No, Kyle. Well, you know what? I'm getting a different result than I was expecting, but it's not very marbly, but it's not exactly a bad background. Actually, you know, Kyle, fair dues to you, son. That's that's actually not a bad thing. It's completely not what I was shooting for. I'm going to accept that. I'm okay with that. I am actually okay with that. So hit the selection tool again, and we're going to move these. So this guy is here, right? Yes. Then there's a duplicate here. And then there's a duplicate. What's this? Am I imagining something? What is this? Where'd that come from? All right, so I'm gonna have to do a correction there. So this guy is now not sure what to do because he feels like there's someone like mad dogging him over there. This is, I'm just gonna have to delete them. All right, and then this guy. Let's move him in here. Yeah, okay, so let, let's get rid of these. I don't know what that is. That's got to go. And then let's take you. I'll duplicate you, and you go here. 
I don't know where that other ring came from, but uh, I must have had another selection and then created a selection. And so I had two selections going at the same time. And then I colored this one. That one was a black and a gray. That's exactly what I did. Okay, so... I'm actually okay with them. And I'm okay with that generic um, smudge tool. I might come in and personalize them a little bit, but that's fine for now. All right, I think I feel compelled to guide in, in the sky cam above me, this U shape and this circle. Well, the circle I think we could draw. The circle we can draw. But the circle is also stone. So we need to draw on a guide. So yeah, we're gonna guide it. Where's my guide? There we are, guides, okay. Let's do the circle first. And it was a full 10 feet across. They didn't say larger than 10 feet, right? Yeah, full 10 feet. All right. I mean, if we go a little bit larger, I think that's fine. These are going to be actually pretty small stones. So that is 10 feet across. Why why does the sky cam above me look like that center column is not centered? Why why does that look off? Like the grid just doesn't match. I, I think maybe there's a missing line or something of off the grid. That's what it must be. Alright. And this is definitely here. I'm on the guide layer right now. Um, and we can make this a lot smaller. Let's make it 15. Alright. So that's where we're going to draw. We are going to draw the stone blocks of that one. Is that in the right position? Yeah, it is, right? You can see the, the bottom part of it. Now, actually, this thing's actually been pushed down, hasn't it? This U-shape pushes this. This is not lined up with the grid. I need to keep that in mind. So this, this we can move this. You know what? Let me just put this down here. Let's do our U-shape. Alright, so view snap to grid. Is that already on? Oh, I have the grid turned off. Hold on, let's turn the grid back on. Uh, view snap to grid, we can now do. And we've got which brush? We're going to probably need a better brush for this. We're going to take this brush, we're going to make it pretty small because they are just guides. And we're gonna draw. Am I gonna be able to see this? Yeah, I think so. Okay, so. It comes down one, two, right? Yeah, so it's. That line is messy because I'm gonna delete it. I'm actually snapping outside of the grid a little bit. Right, we'll go to there, to there. Like, right there. But there's gonna, let me just draw a little bit of an outside line. That's pretty terrible. Let's try this instead. There we go. Alright, those are my guides. And I'm... T oh, I actually did that on the inside and I did this one on the outside. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. I will draw my stone blocks on the outside of the line 
leaving the interior completely open because this is where there's going to be some kind of um, tomb right there. Then we'll draw on the outside here, that will work well. And then this circle will butt up against it. So I'm actually tempted to move my circle in now and we're going to draw all of the stone blocks. That'll be a good work session. Let's take you and then let's bring you something like this. It feels funny, like, not being on the grid. It really does. It hurts my brain. I mean, maybe I can conspire this to be on the grid. Because we can draw our own bloody blo blocks. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it there. I'm going to put it there. I want it there. Let's turn off our snap. Let's get back to standard brush. 30 pixels. It'll be black. And we need to be on our wall layer. And... I'm actually just momentarily going to put this floor down a little bit on the opacity. Just so, while I'm drawing walls, we can see what's going on. Now this feels like a pretty special room. Our walls and everything have been pretty rough in parts, particularly over here in the maze. I want them to feel a little bit more like this, a little bit more engineered, a little bit of imperfection, wear, age over, uh, you know, the eons. So we're going to hand draw it, but I'm going to try for a little bit more precision. And I'm keeping this grid on here because I do want big blocks, and I cannot lie. Um, if we do half a square in thickness, that is a block two and a half feet thick. If we only do a quarter of the thickness, like here, that's a block that's what, like slightly over a foot thick. I think that's what we have to aim for. I think we need to aim for pretty thin blocks here. Unless, yeah, yeah, I think we do. I, th I don't think we could do these massive outside blocks. Just do a quick test. So, what I'm going to do, I think, is I'm actually going to back, go back down to my guide. Four hundred and fifty pixels, which means two hundred and twenty five pixels, which means what, like a hundred and twelve pixels. too much. Hundred and twelve, so it's like sixty-six. That feels like it's gonna be too thick. Oh you see you see this there's there's a perfect example of the select going weird. Well I suppose that I did that off from up there. But that that's gonna be too thick. But you know what I'm gonna I'm gonna actually Edit stroke there on the guide layer, and I'm doing this just to give myself a visual reference when I draw stones. And 
hopefully I haven't just drawn so many bloody strokes that I don't know what the hell's going on. But I think we're going to work with that. That's my main line. Stones come out here. They can come out here. Yeah, something like that. Okay, so... Hey, hey, Cave Geek! Hello! How you doing, Cave? Oh, you doing that shit again to me? What am I mi- Oh, is it my snap? No, I don't have the snap on. I don't have snap on. So what is Photoshop doing there? This is not the first time that it's done it. Let's just do that for now. That That's kind of weird. Cave Geek, much love to you, man. Seriously. This is why I didn't actually stream last night. I worked last night, but I didn't stream. I feel you, bro. I feel you, man. I'm, I'm, I got nothing. I got nothing. My Photoshop has definitely been doing some weird things recently, but they also did do a patch recently, and maybe maybe I've been blaming this on multiple versions of my Photoshop all on the system at the same time. Maybe it's just they introduced a bug. It used to be that you could do, like, do a select like this. There's my select, right? And I could click anywhere else to deselect that, but my Photoshop isn't now. And maybe that's a new setting that they've introduced that I need to find the preferences for. My Photoshop just does another select. I bet I bet they've introduced an enhancement. Right, deselect, control D. I'll reboot your face, sunshine. No, I've been rebooted. I've rebooted. I've actually uninstalled Photoshop Cave Geek. I reinstalled everything from scratch. There's something going in. Uh, uh, on under the hood and it wouldn't surprise me honestly if it is a setting that I've introduced where now when you click again the current select conforms to some kind of rule while it used to just deselect have you been anyway anyway enough of that what have you been up to Cave Geek what's going on in the world no don't answer the what's going on in the world what's going on in your cave anything fun Please tell me you've got something fun going on. Were we going to draw this two things? No, we won't. No, we won't. Tell me something fun. Tell me, tell me a highlight that is not tainted by the shitness of this world. I feel like that this here, my stone is off position. So for now, I'm gonna do this. Cave, you're too kind, man. Thank you. It's like that, that Tuesday blackout thing that was going on. I honestly felt I can't do that. Because I think some people actually look to my posts for a highlight to their freaking day. And if I don't post something, if I'm just like all like, you know, black circle, black banner, not posting, blackout. People are going to be, like, kind of sad, and it's like, I wanted to introduce, like, you know, do good things. Give people a... I feel my page is, like, uh, just a distraction. That That's what my page is, in many ways. I like posting to it, I like sharing. It's a distraction to me, too. It's a distraction page. But 
Well, Cave, it is very much appreciated. It is very much appreciated. All right, so we have a circle here that we've got to draw, and but also a wall. So I think, what if we did something like this? Can we get away with this? What does that come down to? Here, 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 okay. Yeah, something like that. Something like that. Um, pretty thin on the back end here, though, girly. Hold on a sec. But let's actually bring you back to there. Cave, did you get an email from Gamehole Khan today? Because I saw it pop up on my phone, but I have not checked it out. It was talking about some optimism and maybe Gamehole will be happening this year. Can you confirm? That's a pretty thin freaking wall. I'm gonna roll with that. This is a circle that butts up against a tomb. I'm gonna roll with it and we're gonna see what happens. Ulfgar, small hammer. I'd be great. I'd be great. I I'm actually doing a lot better just for obviously hanging out with you guys and girls. So by the time your ads stop, and hopefully they are for a weapon of some description, um, I will have the map up here for you to take a look at. This is this is really beginning to take shape. This is beginning to take shape. Uh, um, every map I do, it, it always because I do big maps. I, I do big maps like all of the time, and um, so when I first start them, it always feels daunting. And then it's like three, four sessions, and it's like, okay. You know, like all of them, even my city maps feel that way. But it becomes a tipping point where you go, yeah, this could work. And I think we're beginning to hit that tipping point right here. This is beginning to take shape, you know? I'm beginning to like what's happening here. I don't know what I saw then, Cave Geek. I don't know what I saw. Oh, it's like, I'm, I'm actually gonna check. Screw it. There was an email that went out, but maybe it was a private distribution. Public Health in Dane County recently ordered that there will be no permitted mass gatherings in 2020. Okay, quite frankly, it was relieved. Blah, 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 blah. Ah, uh, no, okay, no, this is, this is different. No, they're, they're, they're totally staying virtual. It's going to be a virtual thing. They were, it, it was just a separate email altogether. All right, so I think my plan here was to do stone blocks that follow this perimeter. This is pretty small as a wall goes. But I, and I've no idea how this is going to turn out but we, we are going to give this a whirl i always do my shit live on twitch and sometimes it looks like crap and sometimes cave geek has to shout at me to try something and then i get mad because i don't want to learn new things but hopefully we, we can avoid all of that this evening I 
thought I actually in my mind's eye I wanted this block to come down here, you know? But let me draw in the stone circle and then we'll decide what I want to do with that outside tomb wall. outside wall here. It feels off. Feels off. Oh, and the other thing is, of course... <laughs> Jesus Christ! I was not My giddy at oh my little heart oh oh I swear I just died I just died a little yeah that that was a genuine shit my pants but right there. Am I a fight or a flight? Well, I guess we all found out. I am a shit myself. Okay, so Cave Geek, you can do a block that does both one triangular block that does the inside and outside. Yeah, 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 Like the reverse of what we've got here, so. But, but I, I kind of, what the hell is with this? Oh, I was on the eraser. Um, actually, let me go to the, not swatch layer, that, let, let's just temp layer. Like, I kind of wanted it to join up here and clearly that's not going to because the circle is a lot smaller than this outside wall. I could move these outside walls in a little bit and kind of get it to join here, you know? I could do that. And in that way, we could like have, like, I think the block you're referring to, like right here. I feel like these sections are too far that way. I just feel like this wall is being way thicker than this wall is causing a bit of a problem. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna move them in. I'm gonna move them in. Um, bigger blocks in a circle. Well, as you can see in the sky, come above me. Um, there's a staircase in there. So, I mean, yes, I guess. Well, you know what. No, except the, actually, except the description. The description put this as a 10 feet wide pillar. And if I make the blocks bigger, and I like the idea, then I'm going to end up with something that's more like 12, 13 feet wide. It's not going to be quite right, you know? I'm thinking I should actually cinch the uh, sarcophagus area in a little bit. I think I think that's what I've just got to do. And the beautiful thing about working digitally, boys and girls. Oh look, it just did it again. All right. So what the fuck is going on with that? I'm actually doing a select 
and I let go here and it goes out over there. What the hell is it selecting right now? That ain't mine. There's something weird going on with this. I, I need to figure out if Photoshop really has uh, some kind of new select feature. I'm going to hold shift and see what happens. No. I'm going to hold like control D to deselect. No, it's like Like, what the fuck is Photoshop doing, man? All right, let, let's try not doing the, the, that. Let's, let's actually just try drawing um, around it with the lasso tool. I, I gotta figure out what's going on there. I can't be the only person in the world that's encountering this. Let's just move him out. Well, we can correct anything we want to be able to correct. Well, you know what? Let's, let's just actually put it back in position where we want it. And then we'll do some fixy yuppy stuff. It's to, that is there. Well, actually, let's line it up. Let's line it up. It's there. So let's try this again. Now we just did the lasso tool, but not that. No, you see the lasso tool? That, that, that is this something wrong, man. Is something wrong? I don't know what's going on, Johnny. I don't know what's going on. This side needs to pull out to about here. I, I do, so I'm actually gonna do it. And I know it's screwed up along my wall, but we can fix all of that, I'm not too asked. Let's pull him out. It's about there. Let's let's try that. And then control D to deselect. And then let's let's actually clean up this. And likewise with you, we're gonna redraw all of that. And we're gonna redraw this. And you. Also here, I'm gonna redraw you. Okay, 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 okay. I can dig it. So what if it's described as a center pillar, but what if just to blend all of this in, it's kind of like not really a pillar? Well, half of it looks like a pillar. What if? Feels really thick, man. That brush. I'm actually gonna just drop this down a little bit. Uh, yep, yeah, let's pen brush your size. And what if we did like this? Okay. And then I think. Could do. Let's get rid of you. And let, let's reimagine this. So this stone block. Let's have some fun. This stone block comes down to here. Like so. This corner piece. What if this corner piece actually looks like this? And then this could be another little corner piece here. Another big 
big block. What if it's shaped like that? I'm not a fan of this bit. Let's just clean it. Let's, let's turn off our guides real quick, or actually, let's just delete our guides. Guides. Delete. Deselect that, and then actually, let's bring our stone floor back up in opacity and I think let's just do a little bit of clean up here because we, we don't actually need this here like at all I would normally draw it if it's underneath a wall alright so let's get rid of that that makes things look a little bit cleaner. Let's get rid of you. And I think, I think I'm think i going to get rid of you here. And you here. Definitely you here. And here. I think that looks okay. I'm gonna hit save. A bird's eye view of a starship. I I can actually completely understand that. All right, I'm gonna draw two more walls here, um, and then I think I might draw the stairs. I might draw the stairs. Yeah, we'll see. Alright, so there's a secret door here that leads to the stairs. And there's a secret door over here that leads to an alcove. Um, the little sky cam above me makes them both look like they're leading to the, secret, uh, the stairs. So I want to make this really explicit by actually drawing a wall. where the original scenario does not have one. Now this is our secret little alcove right here because there's things in there. There's like phylacteries or some shit or vases. There's something in there. So now, now we can actually have them contained. This little secret door will come into some stairs that we could actually draw coming down here. And they go up. They actually go up. So let me, let me think about how I want to do this. Let me think about how I want to do this. It's a radial thing in Photoshop, right? Does, is there a radial thing in Photoshop? I actually don't know if there is. I seem to remember using one, but maybe I'm on the crack pipe. So if there's a secret door here, I actually don't want the stairs to appear straight away. I want the stairs to kind of appear here, like you walk in, the stairs going up. Otherwise you're straight into a step. That makes no freaking sense to me. Radio, yeah, I thought I thought it was a way of like, you know, drawing like, but I, 
I'm probably thinking about Illustrator. I'm gonna do a I'm gonna do a rough outline for what I'm thinking about for the stairs. Right. And I'm gonna I'm actually gonna draw this um on a different layer and light grey first. So we could do take backs, okay? This one is wrong, which means this one's wrong, which means this goes to there, no, this one goes to here, no. I think I'll be close enough for my purposes. Maybe, maybe. Yes, Miss J would know how to do it, I'm sure. Radio tool, but we're kind of past that right now. But yes, radio tool. Wondering if Photoshop actually had one. I didn't know you were here, girl. What the hell? Maybe, maybe I'm just, like, smoking the crack pipe. Not sure actually about this approach. I'm gonna change this. I'm kind of like the first bit, but I don't like this bit. I'm gonna change this. Yeah, th there's the symmetry. I know about the symmetry one. I mean, you know, I had a lot of fun with the symmetry one, which you showed me that.
yeah, this is going to be closer to the mark, I think. Did I, um, did I delete something? I'm drawing on the wrong fucking layer. I'm drawing on the wrong fucking layer. Jesus H of the Christ. Alright, let's move you down to there, then we come back up to the ink floor. Oh my god, but at least I know my approach now. Double check, ink floor, 25, okay. Once I'm done with this, by the way, this is probably where I'm going to aim the stream for the night. And then, I'm not sure if I'm streaming tomorrow, by the way. I've got some games I'm running at North Texas. I'm going to be doing them virtually, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. And I feel a little unprepared. So I might not stream to, uh, tomorrow because I probably, honestly, should be honouring my players. And getting my ass in gear and getting my shit together for it. We'll see. Now, not, not happy with this. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, Gabe. Yep, yeah, it's good timing, man. Go, have fun. I'll catch you on the flip side. I'm ending my stream right now. I got, what, room 17, pillars, stairs, main crypty thingy, holdy, wally thing, and a whole bunch of coloring done. So I think that's a good session. That's a good session. Tomorrow night, we're going to work on, I think, I, I, the stairs, I might work on the stairs. Um, tomorrow night may not even be a thing. Next session, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to work on the black granite floor so it doesn't look black. 
we'll see. Right. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, I am streaming during the day. Approximately, I think it's like noon Pacific time, 3 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, 2 o'clock Central Time. I'm going to be actually running three Call of Cthulhu games for North Texas Con. I am going to be streaming them. So come hang out during the day. Just watch the game. They'll be four hours each. And hopefully we're going to have a bunch of fun. Yay, North Texas. Um, and then on the flip side of that, I'll probably come back to the map. So I'll see you all then. Kick, kick you a fan. Everyone, thanks for hanging out. Love you, oodles. See you.